Um, what is that alarm? Is that a fire alarm? Is that a forklift? I don't know what's happening right now. Well, that sun is harsh. <laughs> But we are here today in Walkersville, Maryland, and we are at the Goodwill. It is about 3.30 in the afternoon. This is the latest I have ever been to this Goodwill, so I don't know what to expect. But sometimes it's fun to visit Goodwills at different times of day because sometimes they suck in the afternoon. You just never know what to expect. But we're going to head in here and see what we can find. Buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Okay. Well, as usual, we're going to start <laughs> with Christmas. I'm actually surprised there's hardly anyone here. That's how I like it though. <laughs> Goodness. We should uh we should come late more often, I think. Look at all of these dishes. Wouldn't it be great to find some more spode? That sold pretty quickly for me the last time. I like this vintage tray. $2.49 on that. Catching my eye really in the Christmas. This is kind of nice though. Unfortunately, we just have a signal, a signal, a single, <laughs> a single stocking holder, and that's it. And at first, I thought maybe he was carved wood, but he turns out to be resin. And I think there's supposed to be something that screws onto his little post there. It appears to be missing, so we will leave him there. What do we have in the baggies? I love looking through the baggies, but the thing that sucks is a lot of times they'll like throw a bunch of ornaments in the baggies and they'll get all crushed up. So we have to be careful when we're looking through the baggies. All right, not much in the baggies. Let's head to the back. Wow, it's actually pretty sparse back here. That is metal. I was expecting that to be ceramic, so that was kind of surprising. What do we have here? Hmm. Here is another um, oxblood vase. I actually sold mine at auction, and they did pretty well. Uh, so this one actually has a sticker on the bottom. Global Views Inc. Made in China. Um, Peter actually sent me a comp the other day on something that was Global Views and I was surprised at how well it sold. So I think I'm going to stick this in here and actually, oh, never mind. I was going to look it up, but I don't think there's a giant chip there. I think we'll leave that one alone. We'll just, you know, but um, don't discount Global Views because I think some of the Global Views pieces can actually sell for decent money. $3.50 made in the Philippines. I was going to say, he kind of looks like a little tiki man. Is he a little tiki man? I guess, he's, I don't know. I kind of like him. He's cool looking. $3.50, I'll pick him up for that. There is a swan, but his butt looks like it's broken. So we're going to leave the poor swan here. And those shelves, it's not really surprising that his butt is broken. Those are adorable. I'm made in Mexico. $3.50. I do like this this uh, angel here. Uh, there's damage on the flowers, which is kind of to be expected because they're so intricate and so fragile. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. <laughs> From Big BJ. $1.50. That's cute. <laughs> it's probably a gift. Here is a piggy bank with a kitty on it. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. $3.50. I love the kitty. I don't know if that's decoupage. It kind of looks like it was a, a decal of some sort. $3.50. I don't see any damage on it. So you can go in there, little piggy. $5.50 on that. Made in Italy on the bottom. I do like the graphic on that, but it looks like the corner has been glued back. There is my favorite print in the whole world, the pheasant print. And this is the ice bucket, $3.50 on this. 
And you can see there's the hunter shooting at the pheasants. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, if you've been with the channel for any length of time, you know the story behind this ice bucket. And I'm going to leave it right here because it's just the ice bucket. We don't have any glasses or anything to go with it. There's a Starbucks You Are Here mug. Now it's hanging out over here. Um, what is that alarm? Is that a fire alarm? Is that a forklift? I don't know what's happening right now. It's stopped though, I think we're safe. Um, <laughs> it's hanging out over here in the, um, the pots and pans. I think somebody probably picked it up and then was like, wait a second. $5.50, that's only worth 18 to 24, which I'm, that's a guess, but I think this is more contemporary. Um, 2013 on that. Here we have a tray. Did I leave this the last time? I feel like I did. $6.50. I don't know, I really don't have a whole lot in my cart this time around. Um, so I think I'm gonna grab it. $6.50. It is made in Mexico. Um, there's no markings on it. It might say made in Mexico. No, it says somebody was charging 125, no, that might've been pesos. $10 US maybe, 125 pesos. I don't know what the conversion is on that. Um, it's $6.50 and I think I'm going to grab it um, for that price. This is a great booth piece um, and it'll sell in my booth. Now, the other thing I grabbed while nobody was looking was this canister. I really love this. Um, it's got that uh, mottled texture similar to early Ray Dunn. It is marked on the bottom B collection and it looks like compare estimated value 12 bucks. Our price $7.99. I have no idea where this was sold originally but I feel like it's worth at least 20 bucks even if it has a $7.99 price tag on it. And Goodwill is asking $4.50 so I'm gonna grab that regardless. There's a little goofus glass for $8.50. Holy smokes. That stuff's like almost impossible to give away, unfortunately. Um, I think it's really cool. I have tried to buy it and sell it before, and I just can't. I mean, like, it's really hard to, to sell, unfortunately, uh, because I think it's really fun, especially when the paint is intact like it is here. Uh, you can see that it's not really worn. It is reverse painted, um, which means that somebody painted the underside of it to bring those colors out. Um, but $8.50 might be pushing it a little bit, even though it is a nice bowl. Here's a set of candlesticks for $2.50. Painted candlesticks pair, $5. They're marked in the bottom. Shelby Lutz, 1997. I wonder who Shelby Lutz is. We should try Googling her. Okay, well, even though I like them, I couldn't find anything on Shelby. So, I'm gonna leave them, because I don't need another obscure thing. What are these? Advarsal. They're pretty dented up. If they weren't dented up, I would probably grab them. They're pewter. You can see there, pewter has a low melting point. A low melting point and also a tendency to dent really easily. I got really excited when I saw Bormio Leon here uh, because I know that stuff can sell well. So I was about to look it up. But I decided, you know what? I've been fooled before at this Goodwill with stuff being in boxes that wasn't matchy match. And sure enough, we've got little sherberts in here that are not matchy matchy. Is there? No, I thought there's schmutz on there. I was like, wait, are they marked? They're not. And they're definitely not what is on the box. So. That's kind of a bummer. I was like, oh, check that out. Never mind, false alarm. All right. Those are adorable, aren't they? $4.49. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. <laughs> um, obviously, these are ceramic. Maybe? Maybe they're, uh, I don't know. It's a vase or a planter. I think somebody may have put a sticker here that got peeled off, which makes me a little nervous for this sticker right here. I might test peel it a little bit before I commit to these. I think we are in the clear. It's not gonna peel off any paint. Those are just fun. You know, I think I could probably get 18 to 24 for those. So I will grab those for the fun factor. Now I was eyeing this up. 
This is made in Vermont, $2.50. There is quite a bit of shipping though. I'm not really sure what's going on here or what this is supposed to be. Looks like a David Winter's cottage. Maybe, there's chipping on that as well. Lots of chipping today it seems. Kinda like the glaze on that. I feel like it would have had a basin to go with it though. Galston Sutton. I don't know about that. All right, I think all that's really left for us are the cups and the mugs. And then we're gonna get out of here. This is fun. But they're always missing the little barrels on the side. All right, so what do we have here? <laughs> really doesn't look like much. It looks like they've been thinning out a little bit. These are Bartlett Collins, I would presume, about 50. They're just clear though. I get more excited when they're like yellow or a fun color. I don't know how much the clear cream and sugar go for. I might look those up. So apparently there are no sold. <laughs> Look at this fun color though, that's what I'm talking about, like that really fun blue sold for $26. The clear is just hard. So I think, I think I probably could make money. Um, I would have to list them as buy it now and they might sit for a while. So I'm gonna leave those, I'm gonna pass on those. There we are in the land of art. And I'm distracted by this piece, which is probably just to properly hang your, oh, it's Opal House, so it's Target. <laughs> Three kind flowers. I'm thinking that might look nice in Juliet's room, or I could hang it outside um, the kids' rooms. This is tr trippy. I don't know what's going on here. A little bit trippy. Now what does that one say on the back? Probably hang your beautiful new mirror picture. Wow, I guess the artwork comes with instructions now on how to properly hang it. I wish my artwork would have come with that because I can't tell you how many times I made mistakes on those. Let your imagination run. Actually what I was going for was this. You probably knew that, right? <laughs> Look how fun that is, $4.50. At home, here we are, Target again. Look at all the colors. Ooh. All right, so they did just roll out a new cart, but it wasn't like extremely exciting, so I'm not rushing right over. Figured I'd come over here and check this out for a minute. Um, I really do like this. I thought this might look pretty with um, candles in it. How much do they have on that? Can't see the price. Nine dollars and fifty cents on that. I don't know if I need it though. So the new cart is just filled mostly with angels. <laughs> and this, which I thought was kind of cute, but you can see the headlights are missing off of the front. So I think I'm gonna set it back in there. And this one says Reed and Barton. Suggested you pay $19.97. Yeah, maybe not. There's another You Are Here mug. Let's take a quick peek at that. Atlanta. Oh, and Orlando is back there too. They're all here. If you just find Tokyo, I think Tokyo is one of the best selling You Are Here mugs. Eh, maybe I'll look them up. So it looks like there is a fluke. There's one that sold for $46, but all of the others are way at the bottom, selling for like 10. So um, I did stick it in here, but I'm gonna stick it right back where I found it. All right, well on that note, I am going to head up towards the checkout and I guess I'll get back to you guys in the car. All right, well that was a fun time at the Goodwill. We only bought a couple of things, but I'm excited about that artwork. Um, I've been trying to gussy up the little area outside of the kids' bedrooms, um, which has included that console, which doesn't fit. I measured it, but um, the door jam, like the um, door trim, is creating a problem. So dad's gonna take the door trim off to get the console in place here in the next week or so so that I can have the console. It, it, it's gonna all come together. 
Um, but I bought the artwork for that area up there. So once I get it all put together, I'll share that with you. Anyway, I don't recall my total spend, so I'll have to put that up there for you guys so you guys can um, know how much I spent. But I'm going to get out of here now. I've got one more Goodwill to hit today. Just one more. This was number four, and I've got one more to hit today, number five. Um, despite popular belief, I do not film every single day. I try to cram it all into one day. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Um, so I guess I will see all of you guys tomorrow. So here it is, the beginnings of my gallery wall. I've never actually had a gallery wall before, so I'm kind of excited about this. I have four pieces hung already, and it's just the beginnings. <laughs> but you can see um, here is the embroidered piece and here is the Be Kind in florals. Um, this one you saw me pick up a while ago. I don't actually remember where I got that one. Um, oh, I got that one at Lemoyne. This was the one that did not have a price on it and all of you were asking how much I paid for it. And I think I only paid 20 or 25 for it so it wasn't a whole lot. Um, yeah, it was only 20 or 25, but I absolutely loved it and I wasn't sure where I was gonna put it and it just kind of works here. Uh, this was hanging in our kitchen, but obviously it can't be hanging in our kitchen anymore, so now it is hanging here. And this is what I'm dealing with currently. Um, so <laughs> the console doesn't fit. And this is its current, um, current situation. Um, Dad is going to be taking the trim off the door it fits between here and here but it won't get past the trim on either side <laughs> so it won't slide into the spot so in order to get it in to this area right here where I want it we have to actually pop the trim off which dad said he could do and he's going to do. Um, so then I'm gonna have the console here. Uh, so we have it just sitting on the rug for now. This box is full of stuff that I actually wanna put on the console. So the box is like half empty because I've been emptying it into other places. Some of it's in Juliet's room, some of it's in my room. It's all just kind of chaotic right now as I figure out the situation with this giant console in the middle of this area um i hung this artwork i know some of you saw questionable things in the balloon painting but i just love the colors so i hung it anyway <laughs> now juliet's birthday was yesterday and she has been busy in here what are you working on painting, painting? do you want to show us some of your paintings That's the one baby Laura wants to crinkle, huh? Yeah. Because crinkling is her favorite. Then I got this. Very then nice. I got these ones up there. I like, I like the, the glitter execution. This one's really pretty too. I'll we'll have to get those framed to hang on your wall. They go nicely in your bedroom. I'm working on baby Laura's right Very cool. We, we got to get you a light or something under there, don't we? Yeah, that's why I turned on these. I think you have, a, you have a light up here. You can actually use this. Here. It's not really plugged in, though. You can plug it in. You can make it work. Put it right here. Sounds like baby Laura wants mommy, though. There you go. You plug that in, and it'll work. Painting in the dark, silly girl. All right. I'll come back and check on you later. Bye. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> very much. Here's some of the artwork we have hung in Juliet's room. You might remember these two from Goodwill. And this was an auction buy um, that I got a while back. I think it is a block print. It's marked Hope Merriman. And I've never been able to find anything else by the artist, but the artwork is called Stop. And it is 10 out of 15. It just reminded me of Juliet's spirit. This girl on roller skates and stop sign. <laughs> It's so Juliet. But anyway, I gotta get downstairs to Laurel. And uh, yeah, this is how we've, uh, we've used some of our artwork. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.